Will Robinson here from Robinson's Auto. Welcome back. I'm not sure if you recognize this vehicle. It's a 2007 Saab 9.3. It's the one that we put the ECM in from an older model and reflashed it. It's been running great. However, the coolant light came on recently and she said she went to put coolant in it and the cap is broke. So we'll get in there, we'll see what's going on. In addition, she said she smelled coolant, so we'll see if we can find a leak. Without further ado, let's do it to it. Let's see where that's coming from as well. I do see some discoloration, like a pinkish stain in this area as well. You know with all this plastic, you just never know what's going on. But one thing we do know is that she said. Okay. The inside stayed in. Coolant light is on, and this is what brought it here today. So let's see if we can pull this apart. It'll probably break. It's kind of O-ring. I'm hoping if I get it to spin. We need a cap regardless. So. Maybe you guys see this happen all the time and are like, hey, you just gotta do this and that. Well, I don't know, I don't see these every day. I know that guy could get it out of there. Might need a bigger hammer. I don't want these pieces to fall down any. Making progress, I think. Ugh. All the tabs are broken on the inside. Your ring was probably just stuck. I doubt this was the reason for the leak and the stain down below. Let's put a little pressure on there and see, see if we can find anything. Okay, this is the Astro 78585, cooling testing kit. It's their master kit, I believe. And um, as you can see, I haven't really used it much. I've had it for a little while, but I don't get a lot of these type of jobs as much as I, I used to but then they come in spurts you know so I'm sure it'll get its use well if I had to guess uh, Saab GM right I would think it would be a later model after purchase one so your kit may not have included the one you need it's the 7858541 feels about right Nice. Feels good. Ooh. Is that our, is that leaking around our cap or whatever it is is a very large leak. Might be our cap. Can you stand over here, please? I don't think it's that. No, I don't think it's... Do you have any soapy water? Well, this shouldn't leak unless the other cap was failed and wasn't allowed to build any pressure. I mean, that's possible, but this here, where that O-ring's at, should be sealing this back tube. Okay. So, but it sounds up high. Pop it. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Pop it. Oh, there's your problem. I thought it was a cap leaking. And that would explain the, the proximity of this, this pink stain. Well, hopefully that was showing up for you, but evidently we have something broke here. 
And my first initial once over when I was looking, as you can see, the pink stains up high here. I was worried of something spraying up from the bottom because it's all through down low as well. Let's see what we got here. That's not good. Sometimes you can just, I want to try to get the piece out while it's still grabbing on at least, you know? Otherwise I gotta fish it out with a pick or something, there it goes. Ooh. Well, there's the breakage. See it? Alright, let's pull this bottom one off right away. We're gonna need a reservoir. Top, top. This here is a fluid extractor. I'm sure you guys have seen this in a hundred videos already, but I tell you what, it's it's a manual one, but it works fantastic. I'm always getting hollered at to wear gloves. So now I'm getting my hands in, so we're gonna wear gloves. I should have put them on an hour ago, but I'm pretty sure, pretty certain that these just tilt up. I have to pull it out. Do I have to pull the bottom hose off first? It looks like there's room. What am I missing this? Let me unplug this connector here. No sense. It looks like that hose should be long enough to pop out. There's one more hose on the bottom that I can see. Oh, there she goes. Oh, yeah. That looks like we just got one more clamp right there. All with a pair of pliers, man. Fantastic. I just, we had a little bit come out, but imagine the mess we would have made without that fluid extractor. Well, we're back here with the reservoir out. I just want to give you a peek at the oil. If I had to guess, a lot of it looks like it appears to be coming from up high. So we'll recommend that later. Okay, so we got a new to this car reservoir. Right there. Come down here. Okay, good. Feel going down. Like that. There you go. And then there's one more in the bottom. You just push it on the bottom. Push it down. Don't come down here. Plug that in. Remember bottom to bottom. Perfect. She wanted to be there, evidently. I try to keep them in the same spot. You see their stains. I guess I'll just pressure test it first and then we'll put fluid in it, all right? Put a little lubricant on that. Rubber safe, all right? Try to keep your, your rubber safe and lubricate it. There's a joke in there somewhere. All right. I don't want to bring it up too high. Get a P 
appears that it's holding. Yeah, bring it up a little more. It appears it's holding pretty well. That seems way too easy, so I think uh, a couple more things I gotta do on this vehicle: change the oil, rear brakes. Not sure how far I'm gonna go with this video on that, but that was pretty easy. If you want to hang out for your oil change, we could do that. You can do this without pulling this cover off, actually. But I'm fine that easier. Usually once you break them loose, they come out fairly easy. I usually pop the filter up and out prior to dropping the oil. Gives it uh, some breathing room, I guess you could say. Skill 15 millimeter. Alright, not bad. Alright, back in. Tight. I heard you bought a horse and you thought it was a cow. And then you tried to milk it, but you didn't know how. <laughs> there we go. So I'll just filter out. Put the gasket on here. I mean, a little bit of lube on there ain't gonna hurt. If anything, I'll help it. We'll wipe the excess off, but All right. a little bit of oil on the tip of that one as well. There's really no sense of going any tighter. Just a little, little snug, you know. It has no ring in it. I always like looking at the oil light, making sure it goes out when I start it. Okay. Shut her down and we'll check the oil one more time. These things are thirsty, man. They hold a lot. Good. I think I just got a scroll to settings, so use your up and down. Then once you get to settings, I think you hold set. Okay. And scroll, the time for service. Reset service checks. Yes. Next service, 100%. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we got it. Alright guys, till next time. Stay tuned.